Justin Trudeau is in some hot water over the Trudeau Foundation, which he says he hasn't been involved with either formally or informally since he was first elected into the House of Commons. This, even though he attended a $1,500 a plate fundraiser with billionaire Chinese investors that donated a million dollars to the foundation. Subsequently, the Liberals gave authorization to Wealth One Bank, a facility that apparently meets the unique needs of the rich Chinese community that consider Canada a safe haven to open branches in both Vancouver and Toronto. Sheng Lin Shen, the person in charge of that bank, was at that fundraiser, which raised questions about paying for access to the Prime Minister. This absolutely reeks of the pay-for-play scandal that embroiled Hillary Clinton during her campaign. And if the Trudeau Foundation is the Canadian version of the Clinton Foundation, then Canada 2020 is the Canadian version of the Centre for American Progress. In fact, the two groups have hosted joint functions together where Trudeau was a featured speaker. We found this out through the WikiLeaks email release of Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, John Podesta's emails. Actually, Podesta, you know, spirit cooking Podesta, was the first president and CEO of American Progress. That organization is basically an attack dog at the Democrats' disposal. They even had such an influence on Barack Obama that he implemented many of their policy suggestions when he took office. They've been tied to anti-Semitism and they've been criticized for only releasing a partial list of their donors, which include the oh-so-tolerant Embassy of United Arab Emirates that our own Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Catherine McKenna, admires so dearly, and you got it, George Soros. Soros has funded campaigns like the Black Lives Matter movement, who incite violence and even promote the murder of cops, like here. <laughs> this has come to fruition. Soros has his hands in funding anti-Canadian oil campaigns and he's partly funded the anti-Trump riots. Together he and Podesta make a pretty scummy team of progressives and I'm being incredibly nice when I say that. So why is our Prime Minister involved with American progress? He was actually caught fundraising at one of his speeches in Washington for the outfit which made both the Canadian Conservatives and Hillary Clinton's team angry and sparked an investigation. And now all of a sudden Canada 2020, which is actually run by one of Justin Trudeau's childhood friends, who's married to the president of the Liberal Party, has hurriedly established a donor agreement to show that they're not in the business of pay for play since the Trudeau Foundation was outed. So what are they hiding? We have laws here in Canada against foreign funding of campaigns, but that doesn't matter because all of these progressive organizations based in the states typically have a Canadian counterpart. Tides Canada is one of them. You know, that organization helping to fund the protests against Kinder Morgan in Vancouver, the one that mayor of Vancouver himself, Gregor Robertson, used to chair. There's a clear web of progressive funding that's tangled up between progressive Canadian politicians and American Democrats and activists that involves all of the major players and our own Prime Minister is one of them. He's rubbing shoulders with the likes of Podesta, the Clintons and even George Soros. I guess after Hillary Clinton's stunning election loss, the globalists have to stick together after all. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you liked that video, you'll probably like our premium content too. For only eight bucks a month, you get access to all of our full length shows. Click the link to subscribe today.